Hello beautiful internet family, Danny from danchtube.tv and today we're checking out a backpack. Yes, maybe not the typical danchtube.tv video, but I have reviewed a few backpacks in the past and this backpack here from PGY Tech stood out as something that would be really useful for drone and camera enthusiasts. So I thought, why not? Let's check out the PGY Tech One Mo. The One Mo backpack is a 25 liter backpack, plus it comes with the shoulder bag inside, which can be used for your camera or your drone. And I love everything they've thought about here. Firstly, the design. It's such a gorgeous backpack. It's big enough to put all of your cameras and drones inside. It's actually a really large backpack. Plus it has all these quick release side chambers where you can access the most important tech that you need to get to. If you're new around these parts, then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. And I've made it my mission around here to empower tech enthusiasts to unlock their creative potential with technology. And this bag here from PGY Tech just stood out as something that can really bring a creative edge to all of those people out there that are interested in something for their camera, but feel like there's not something that's appropriate for their drone and their camera and all their gear and their SD cards and their batteries. This has thought of everything. And when I say this, I mean PGY Tech have thought of everything with this bag. And it's such a creative bag. I really do love the thought process that's gone into creating a bag, you know? It's something that at this point now, we've seen millions of bags hit the market, but to see something that is tailored for the creative is great to see. So first things first, when you look at these side compartments here, these are easy access compartments. You can just open that up and you've got a great slot on the side there that you can put a camera, a drone, your lunch, you know, whatever you want in here. I really like this as the camera slot, just cause it's designed to almost have a lens sit in and then the body kind of props up on the sides here. So I personally really like this section here to load up my camera. It's great, really easy. And then you've got this little zip on top here that you can put some other additional stuff in as well if you really want. This compartment here though is a bit of a unique one. This is where the shoulder bag sits. And as you open it up, you can see, boom, you've got your shoulder bag ready to go. Pull that guy out. Obviously you can attach the straps that are in the bag and then that's your shoulder bag. And the thing that's cool is it's remarkably similar to the drone bags that we've seen in the past. It's designed to look like a drone bag and the housing inside is also designed to fit a drone. You know, you've also got these additional like little air pockets that you can open up to add some additional space if you don't have enough space in there. And then as you start to unlock this, you can open this one up and this is where you'll find the main section. And this is cool, you know, that's where the strap is. But there's a propped up area there where you can actually sit your drone on top. You can then lift that up if that doesn't work for you. And then you can just put something else in there. Everything's Velcro, so you can just rip that off and put whatever you want, even just your lunch in there if you really want. Another section up here to put some other valuables. And it's designed to fit cameras, drones, and accessories. And it can fit a ton. I love this little shoulder bag here. But let's say you don't want this shoulder bag. It's taking up maybe too much space in your main bag. So you could just leave this at home. You could have the strap on and you could load up some other stuff in here. You could load up your other camera, your other drone. And this could be the bag that you take out with you when you're ready to run. You don't wanna take a whole backpack. You want a shoulder bag. This could be a nice additional little shoulder bag to have with you. And then that means that you've got a whole section now. You've got a whole corridor where you can hide your deepest, darkest secrets in there. Again, I love that. I love the versatility of this bag. And another thing that I really do love that just fell flat, just the shortest amount, like it was so great and I love the concept, is these little battery holders here, these little battery pouches. The thing that's so cool is it actually shows you up here, you can indicate whether you've used the battery or you haven't used the battery. You know, like green could say it's ready to go. Red is it's a depleted dead battery. And I love it. You know, you've got a little slot in here to put your little camera batteries. I thought, yes, this is gonna be great, but it barely fits a Mavic mini battery. So when it comes to drone batteries, it's not gonna work. It's clearly more geared towards camera batteries. The Mavic Mini batteries and the Mini 2 battery will actually slot in there, but then the Velcro will only just touch and it's not the most like flush fit. It's clearly not designed for drone batteries. Anything larger than that, you are out of luck. 
but you can put all of your camera batteries in there with ease. I just wish that was slightly bigger so that I could put some drone batteries in there. And then flipping the bag around, we have another little compartment here, ready to go. So you unzip this one, and again, another little quick release section. And this is where you can put some other things, you know? You can put like SD cards in here if you wanted, you could put a pen in there if you really wanted. You got a little zip to put some other additional stuff. And then you got another little section to store whatever it is that you want to store there. And on the side here is a great little spot to put like a water bottle or something else that you don't care about maybe losing or dropping out. It is a tight fit, but you know, you're not going to be putting a camera or batteries or anything that you care about too much in this section. It's more so probably for a water bottle. Also at the front here, you've got like a built-in pouch that's actually secured by a magnet, which is a really smart idea. You could even put like a jumper through here if you wanted to wrap it up and you didn't want it around your, you know, your waist or over your shoulders or whatever. You could literally like knot a jumper through here if you didn't want to carry it anymore. That's a nice idea. Or you could put like an umbrella in there or you could put something else in there. And then the magnets obviously secure it so you don't have to worry about it kind of bumping around or slotting out. Also, this is a rainproof material that they've used. It's quite a glossy design. It does stand out. It's also quite elegant and sleek in the same kind of note. So it's interesting that it's got, you know, a standout design, but it's also quite subtle and professional as well. It's an elegant design. I love what they've done here. It just looks like an everyday backpack, but it does have a little bit of a punch to it as well. Even on the straps, they've got a few different options here. You know, you can slot little things in here if you really wanted. You've got an option to adjust this up and down on a rail almost. You've got a little cheeky compartment here to put like SD cards or a muesli bar or whatever it is that you want in there. And again, tons of little options here that are just additional options. You've even got a little kind of handle here if you want to hold it from the back there. Again, it's such a, a customizable backpack and it can work for really any condition that you put it in. And it's so unique that, you know, however I set it up is going to be probably completely different to how you set it up. Because when we get inside, everything is customizable. All the compartments, all the Velcro slots that you can move around, all of that's customizable. They don't limit it to a backpack. They allow you to do whatever you want with it and unlock your creative potential really, which is kind of cool. And then that's the main section there. That's like the main compartment. As you can see, I've opened up everything and that's, I guess what it looks like when it's all opened up to the sides. But like I was saying before, this is all customizable. These are all Velcro slots or Velcro inserts, I guess you could say. So you can remove them and you can move them wherever you want. So if you don't want this big section down the bottom here, you can change that. You know, you can remove all of this and just have a completely open bag if you really wanted. And you could just put all your drone bags in here. I've actually fit a Mavic mini bag and the Air 2S bag in this bottom compartment here. I was blown away. I could fit all of that in there and my camera at the top here. Oh, actually I had the microphone in this section and then the straps were just sitting there. But the fact that I could fit two drones and a camera and a microphone system all in this bag and it still had tons of space. I love that. You know, it's such a versatile bag with a ton of options. And then this section here is where you can put your laptop. So you lift that Velcro section and quite a sizable section for a laptop or even a notepad if you wanted multiple, like a couple of notepads and a laptop, all of that would fit in there. It's quite sizable and it's large, you know, like most laptops, if not all laptops are going to fit in here. You've also got additional Velcro dividers here. So again, you can just put those on if you want to divide this bottom section, if I can get it in. There we go. Not the best job, but you can see I've now divided that bottom section with ease and now I can put two things in here if I really wanted. Nice and easy and a few different options, which is always great to see. So overall, I think this is like the ideal creative backpack. Tons of options, clearly geared towards gearheads and creatives and camera lovers and drone lovers. The only thing, like I said, I wish that battery compartment there was just a little bit bigger so I could fit a drone battery in there. Even just the Mavic mini battery sitting in there comfortably would be great. But unfortunately, it's clearly designed towards camera batteries, which is still fine. You can put other things in there if you really wanted. I do love the design. I love all the options. There are a ton of straps I haven't even looked at at the moment that I can add to add some additional customization. But just those quick release side compartments, the thought that they've put into everything is just immaculate. They're clearly creatives, PGY Tech, and they wanted to create something that would offer so many options to so many different people. So I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of the PGY Tech One Mo bag? Interesting name, interesting design. I love it. 
It's a phenomenal backpack and probably the best creative backpack that I've tested. So that's it. Let me know guys. I'll chat to you in the next one and peace out.